Good evening, and thank you for joining us in evening prayer. Our service will begin on page 41 of the Book of Common Prayer. Let my prayer be set forth in your sight as incense, and let the lifting up of my hands be an evening sacrifice. Dearly beloved, the scriptures teach us to acknowledge our many sins and offenses, not concealing them from our Heavenly Father, but confessing them with humble and obedient hearts, that we may, be, may obtain forgiveness by his infinite goodness and mercy. We ought at all times humbly to acknowledge our sins before Almighty God, but especially when we come together in his presence, to give thanks for the great benefits we have received at his hands, to declare his most worthy praise, to hear his holy word, and to ask for ourselves and on behalf of others those things which are necessary for our life and our salvation. Therefore draw near with me to the throne of heavenly grace. Together we say, Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no health in us. O oh Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare all those who confess their faults. Restore all those who are penitent, according to your promises declared to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O oh most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Grant to your faithful people, merciful Lord, pardon and peace, that we may be cleansed from all our sins and serve you with a quiet mind. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Standing. O Lord, open our lips, and our, and our mouths shall proclaim, proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, o Lord make, make haste to help us. us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Together we say, O gladsome light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices. O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Together we will read Psalm 8, which is on page 276 of the Psalter in the prayer book. Together, O Lord, our Governor, how excellent is your name in all the world. You have set your glory above the heavens. Out of the mouth of babes and infants, you have ordained strength because of your enemies, that you might still the enemy and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, even the works of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you have ordained. What is man that you are mindful of him? The son of man, that you visit him. You made him little lower than the angels, to crown him with glory and honor. 
you made him to have dominion over the works of your hands, and you have put all things in subjection under his feet, all sheep and oxen, even the beasts of the field, the birds of the air and the fish of the sea, and whosoever walks through the paths of the seas. O Lord, our governor, how excellent is your name in all the world. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Genesis 2, 8 to 14. Now the Lord God had planted a garden in the east, in Eden, and there he put the man he had formed. And the Lord God made all kinds of trees grow out of the ground, trees that were pleasing to the eye and good for food. In the middle of the garden were the were the tree of life and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. A river watering the garden flowed from Eden. From there it was separated into four headwaters. The name of the first is Pishon. It winds through the entire land of Havilah, where there is gold. The gold of that land is good. Aromatic resin and onyx are also there. The name of the second river is Jehon. It winds through the entire land of Cush. The name of the third river is the Tigris. It runs along the east side of Asher. And the fourth river is the Euphrates. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. To God. Please join me on page 84, where together we will say the cantate domino. O sing unto the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. With his own right hand and with his holy arm, he has won for himself the victory. The Lord declared salvation. His righteousness he has openly shown in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his mercy and truth toward the house of Israel. And all the ends of the world have seen the salvation of our God. Show yourselves joyful unto the Lord, all you lands. Sing, rejoice, and give thanks. Praise the Lord with the heart. Sing with the harp a psalm of thanksgiving, with trumpets also and horns. O oh, show yourselves joyful before the Lord, the King. Let the sea make a noise, and all that is in it, the round world and those that dwell therein. Let the rivers clap their hands, and let the hills be joyful together before the Lord. For he has come to judge the earth. With righteousness shall he judge the world and the peoples with equity. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our second reading is from the book of Hebrews, chapter 2, starting in verse 9. But we see him who for a little while was made lower than the angels, namely Jesus, crowned with glory and honor because of the suffering of death, so that by the grace of God he might taste death for everyone. For it was fitting that he, for whom and by whom all things exist, in bringing many sons to glory, should make the founder of their salvation perfect through suffering. For he who sanctifies and those who are sanctified all have one source. That is why he is not ashamed to call them brothers, saying, I will tell of your name to my brothers. In the midst of the congregation, I will sing your praise. And again, I will put my trust in him. And again, 
Behold, I and the children God has given me. Since, therefore, the children share in flesh and blood, he himself likewise partook of the same things, that through death he might destroy the one who has the power of death, that is, the devil, and deliver all those who through fear of death were subject to lifelong slavery. For surely it is not angels that he helps, but he helps the offspring of Abraham. Therefore he had to be made like his brothers in every respect, so that he might become a merciful and faithful high priest in the service of God, to make propitiation for the sins of the people. For because he himself has suffered when tempted, he is able to help those who are being tempted. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Together, join me on page 87, and we will read the invocation and the first part of the Benedicite Omnia Opera Domini. Glorify the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. In the firmament of his power, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, you angels and all powers of the Lord. O heavens and all waters above the heavens, sun and moon and stars of the sky, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, every shower of rain and fall of dew, all winds and fire and heat, winter and summer, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O chill and cold, drops of dew and flakes of snow. Frost and cold, ice and sleet, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O nights and days, O shining light and enfolding dark. Storm clouds and thunderbolts, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Our third reading is from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 10, starting in verse 2. And Pharisees came up, and in order to test him, asked, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife? Jesus answered them, What did Moses command you? They said, Moses allowed a man to write a certificate of divorce and to send her away. And Jesus said to them, Because of your hardness of heart, he wrote you this commandment. But from the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. Therefore a man shall leave his father and mother and hold fast to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. What therefore God has joined together, let not man separate. And in the house the disciples asked him again about this matter. And he said to them, Whoever divorces his wife and marries another commits adultery against her. And if she divorces her husband and marries another, she commits adultery. And they were bringing children to him, that he might touch them. And the disciples rebuked them. But when Jesus saw it, he was indignant, and said to them, Let the children come to me. Do not hinder them, for to such belongs the kingdom of God. Truly I say to you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God like a child shall not enter it. And he took them in his arms and blessed them, laying his hands on them. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We resume on page 46 in the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven 
and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. We will continue on page 47. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, Christ have, have mercy, mercy upon us. us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. O Lord, show your mercy upon us, and grant us your salvation. O Lord, guide those who govern us, and lead us in the way of justice and truth. Clothe your ministers with righteousness, and let your people sing with joy. O Lord, save your people, and bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, and defend us by your mighty power. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and take not your Holy Spirit from us. O God, the source of all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works, give to your servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and that we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. Amen. O God and Father of all, whom the whole heavens adore, let the whole earth also worship you, all nations obey you, all tongues confess and bless you, and men, women, and children everywhere love you and serve you in peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, we bring before you those on our ongoing prayer list, Audrey, Heather, Lori, Katie, Jerry, Joyce, Patrick, Angela, Robert, Barb, Dylan, Carol, Anne, Olivia, Gladys, John, Janice, Sydney, Robert, Clara, Enzo, Paul, Rhiannon, Barry and Diane, Rose, Brian, Paul, Mary Ellen, Ellie, Melissa, Josiah, Thomas, Mike, Rob, Kim, Jacob, Baxter, Jackson, Jok, Keba, Victoria, Arlen, Bev, Winston, Marty, Elizabeth, Lisa, and Deborah. We ask for your divine providence for them, that those who need healing may get it, those who need guidance may receive it, and that those who, uh, who are simply asking for your presence may feel it very clearly, Lord. We also lift up to you uh, the couple that is in our congregation, which will likely have their sweet child this weekend. We ask your providence and blessing over them that everything may go smoothly and without pain, without too much pain, and that they may be able to come back to their house in joy with a wonderful daughter in their arms. We also lift up to you all those in California who are still suffering from the wildfires. We are grateful that the emergency orders have been lifted for Clackamas County in Oregon, mm -hmm. but this smoke that we see is simply a sign of the devastation still being caused on the state just 
neighboring ours. Mm -hmm. We ask, Lord, that you bless them with rain and with the ability to uh, suppress and control these fires, which are putting many people's lives and livelihoods at risk. If you have other prayers or intercessions, feel free to lift them up now. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the blessings you've given to our church and to each of our members. We pray for those who are experiencing hardships, that they may be relieved, and that they may be able to come into greater communion with your will. We lift up all of these prayers, both spoken and unspoken, with the church around the world, and in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Resuming on page 51. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world the knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing, through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.